Out of Focus is brought to you by Garage Build. Submit your build, share your passion. Powered by Dennis Kirk. Andrew Leibman from Levittown, New York on Long Island. I got a 1971 XLCH, that's a Harley Davidson Sportster. Uh, the CH was kickstart only. Uh, it's got 10 and a half to one compression, 60 weight oil. It can be fun to kick sometimes if it's under 50 degrees out. I bought this bike in 1976 and it was, considering it was only five years old, it was a wreck. It was rebuilt, it was just a mess. I took it apart, I got the Porco frame, built it, I wound up finishing it in 1978. It's been pretty much this way since. I've redone some chrome, updated some stuff, but still got the 55K model front, front brake. It's got the 55KR exhaust pipe in the front. You see how it's got that nice smooth radius. And I've just been riding it and maintaining it since then. I have an 81 FXE. This bike is a right side shift because they used these originally for oval track racing, the dirt racing. My FXE, of course, is left hand shift. So I'm sitting at a light one time after two hours of riding and I'm wondering why the heck my bike isn't going into gear and I damn near put a hole in my boot trying to shift the brake pedal. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Because if you're leaning away over in the dirt, that thing would be shifting out of gear all the time. Originally, I wanted that shovel when I was young. I bought this because I didn't have the money back then and I just, I just stayed with it. My wife loved riding on it. She used to lean back on that bar and then I got the bug again to get that shovel. And that bike's kind of stockish. I just, I love riding a rigid, man. Love feeling the pebbles, the New York potholes. <laughs> no, it's not fun. I mean, I'm, sometimes I split lanes, but in New York, they set up roadblocks and they will pull you over and write you up for everything if you're splitting lanes. So it would be nice because that hour and a half to two hour commute home at five o'clock for 28 miles would be a lot faster splitting lanes. Uh, I like the way I did the braided wiring. The wiring's got to be seen, so I just wanted to do something a little bit different. The wiring is, uh, you know, I'm patriotic, so the wiring is red, white, and blue. The fact that I still have a lot of old parts, like I mentioned, the front wheel and brake from the 55K model. That rear, that rear brake I bought used in 1974 at a swap meet. And the fact that I built it myself. I didn't do the engine work. When I first did it, I brought it to Rolling Thunder on Long Island in Hempstead and I had them balance it, and that was probably the best thing I ever did. I spent the money on that, and it's helped the engine last. I've done the top end a couple of times. I live in a Levitt house. They're small to begin with. So my, what was a one-car garage, I pushed my kitchen out into about eight foot in the front, so it's flush with the garage door. I moved my oil burner, so I got a chimney in there. I got no laundry room, so I got my dryer in there. I got a refrigerator freezer in there. I got a generator and air table saw in there. So I got a little tiny workbench where I do my cutting, grinding, polishing, cleaning, painting, and engine rebuilding. That's my garage. You got focus, you got tools, you got help from friends when you need it. You don't need a huge place, right? It's nice, but more to heat, more to get dirty. I am Andrew Leibman, I'm from Levittown, New York, and I am here at the Broken Spoke in Daytona for the Dennis Kirk Garage Build Show. <laughs>